We are back with farming some suits to boots and we've got a lot to do on this farm today. So to start, we traded some tractors up at the auction where we won our barn. So we're gonna go check that. We traded some, we sent some, we received some. We're gonna go check it out, show you what we got, what we gave away. Let us know if you think it was a good deal, a bad deal, was it fair? Let us know in the comments. We have a, there's a farmer also, he's retiring. He was a cotton farmer. He's getting rid of his harvester. So I want to go check that out, see what condition it's in, because we need a new cotton harvester so it's perfect. So I want to go check that out. Uh, we got sunflowers growing on both of these fields. They're only about 25%, so not going to be able to harvest these today. And then since we may potentially be getting a cotton harvester, I want to run over to the cotton field. It's ready to be planted. So I'm going to use the 8RX over there and plant the cotton field. And that should make for a pretty full day. So let's get started. Quickly before we go inside this barn, a lot of you are watching the videos. If you could go down, make sure you're subscribed, click the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And while we're there, give it a thumbs up. It helps us and I would appreciate it. All right, coming in here, the 8RX. It already has the planter on it. It is ready to go. The field is completely disked, so we are good to go. Uh, I want to get the cotton down, then we'll go check out the harvester. And after that, then we'll go up to the auction where we won the barn. And I'll show you what we traded and you can let us know what you think. The cotton farmer only had one harvester that he's getting rid of. Um, so we might look into buying even another one. Because this field is so big. As you saw last time when we tried to harvest cotton on this field, it took us so long. So I'm going to look into getting another one too. So the one we look at, if we like it, we might buy it and then maybe just find another one uh, pretty identical to it and buy one also. If you have any ideas on cotton harvesters too, leave them in the comments. Maybe I'll check them out. Luckily with this big uh, planter... It won't take too long to plant this field. It's pretty wide, which is good, because this field's pretty big. It's the biggest field I've ever worked, I believe. Okay, so that's good. Let's, uh, what do you think? Let's go check out that cotton harvester now. Okay, here it is. He has a case cotton harvester. Um, it's got a few hundred hours on it already, as you can tell. Stuff is a little worn, just a little bit, not too bad. Looks a little dirty. Tires seem to be in pretty good shape. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to end up getting this and I might just get a duplicate unless you'll have a really good uh, idea for another harvester for cotton. But uh, there's really not much on the market currently so we might end up getting this one. Let's make sure it runs. Take it for a little test drive. Maybe open it up. See how it, how it works. Make sure we don't see nothing too bad. So that seems to open up pretty good. Yeah, I mean this thing's actually in pretty nice shape. It's got 500 hours on it, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. No knocking. Let's turn it on right quick. Okay. So it sounds good. Even when it's on and the header's moving, as you can see right there, it's trying to harvest. There's no knocking, nothing. I think we should buy this. Let's get, let's get in our truck. Let's go pick it up and uh, bring it to the cotton farm. And then uh, we'll be good. And then I'll get with that farmer and tell him no, that we liked it and we're going to purchase it. We kind of need it because... Uh, we're gonna plant, and before we know it, that cotton is gonna be ready to harvest. So we need to make sure we have a harvester, at least one. I wanna have two, but we at least need to have one. So I think we take this truck over there, pick it up, get it to our cotton farm. That way it's ready, we'll put it in the barn, it'll be ready to go for us. We've made it, we're gonna have uh, a bunch of red stuff, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure this harvester fits on here. Let's see, I think it will. We'll just move the truck out of the way, leave it running. I think it'll fit. It should be okay. We might have to be careful driving on the road, though. We kind of have a wide load. I think this guy's going to fit. Ooh, it's going to be close, actually. We might need to just drive this thing on the road, which I really don't want to do. Okay, I think we're good. Could be better. I might need to back it up, actually. Maybe our low boy is not big enough. We might need to invest in a bigger one. It might not be big enough for this thing. Let's see, maybe... If not, we'll have to just drive it. It'll be a long drive, but... Okay, there we go. Perfect. I think that'll work. Let's see. Hopefully. Pretty close. Okay. Okay. Well... Okay, we got it on. It definitely didn't flip in the air and do a 360 and break. Uh, so we're good to go. I think we can make it through these trees and get back to our farm. Our farm is literally right there, but I can't go that way because the river. There's a little bridge 
And uh, it would definitely break and we would fall into the water. So I can't go that way. Got to go the little longer way. But that's okay. We could just haul it through the city. Go by the bakery shop. Maybe grab a muffin or two. And they'll be on our way. I probably could have ended up just driving this thing through the city. But we'll do it the right way. We won't make any pedestrians mad. We'll just load it and drive it. That way they're not all waiting for us. Because the cotton harvester does drive pretty slow. Here we are. Here is your new farm. Excuse me. Please stop. Please stop. Thank you. So he's already about halfway finished, which is pretty good. I feel like he hasn't been going very long. It's nice having that one big planter because we can just rely on just one. I don't have to have multiple. So we're going to leave this here. I want to go run up. We'll put this in the barn here in a second. But I want to go run up. I want to go check out the barn that we bought and show you the guys what trades we made. And you can let us know what you think. So here it is. Everything on the left is now his. Everything on the right is now ours. He kept the big T9 New Holland. That was his. That was obviously worth tons of money. So he kept that. The Baja race truck, he kept that. So this is what we were trading. Everything here was originally mine. This was already ours before. But we got this out of the barn. He wanted all of that in exchange for this. We got this in our barn as well. So that's, we're keeping that one. That'll kind of be our truck now. We had that before. So basically we traded these four things for this. And I think it was worth it because those spray rigs are pretty expensive. I don't have much need for any of this other stuff here. So I think it was a good trade on our part and we get a pretty cool Chevy. We get rid of a cool Dodge, but we get a cool Chevy. More of an old school type. Uh, it looks nice too. So what do you think of the trade? Was it a fair trade? Did I win? Did he win? Or was it pretty fair? Let me know what you think. So since this guy is now ours, I want to use it. Our sunflower fields are 25% growth. They have not been fertilized. So there's no better time to take this down to the farm, put it in use. I've never driven one of these, never used one of these. So let's figure it out. I have a feeling the wingspan on this thing is probably very, very large. So it won't take long at all to do our fields. The beauty of this thing too is now I can just fertilize myself. I don't have to pay somebody else to come fertilize. We don't got to load up a little grain buggy to haul it. We just got straight liquid fertilizer. It'll be so much better. We could do the, all of our fields. We could just drive this to the cotton field. Do it over there as well. It'll make things a lot easier and quicker. So I'm excited for that. All right. We have arrived at Hudson's Playgrounds Farm. Let's see how the spray rig does. I'm excited. I've never used this. I don't know how big the wings are. It's already full in the back. So let's, let's open it up. Let's see what it does. Okay. So, oh, it's going to open up even more. The outside wings are also going to spread open. Okay, so this is going to be even wider than I thought. Oh, this is going to go so fast. Oh, this is going to be so easy. Look at this thing. You can't tell me this was not worth it. Look at this thing. It even opens again. Wow. Okay. This is worth it. This is so worth it. Look at this. Instantly fertilizes half the field to one pass. That one will probably be the bigger one over there. Be like three passes. The cotton field will probably only be like. And look how fast this thing is. Why have I never had one of these before? Oh, this is like a cheat code almost. I feel like I'm cheating. Fertilizing is usually like a pain in the butt. This is so simple. And I know it was expensive. We traded a lot of things for it. But look at this thing. Look how easy this is. Oh, we're moving. I can tell you this. Hudson's going to love this thing. Look how easy it is. Oh my gosh. I am never going back to solid fertilizer ever. This liquid is the way to go. Look at this thing. Y'all need to invest in this in all of your farms. All of them. Look at this thing. Easy. It drives like 15 miles an hour too. Kind of over fertilized in that spot because I'm just going to make this quick. We'll over fertilize on the end as well, but that's okay. I wanted to go ahead and run this to the cotton field too. When he's done planting, we may as well just fertilize it. We're kind of over spraying on the edge, but that's okay. You just can't put too much fertilizer because then you'll kill the plant. We dialed it down there on the left hand side so it doesn't kill it. Fold it up. I want to go back to the cotton farm now, see how the planter is doing, and then whenever he's finished, then we can go ahead and spray the fertilizer on there. Gotta wait for the train. That feels like there's always a train here. 
Okay. Raise. Go! Okay, that was close. Almost broke our new spray rig. I like the speed this thing has too. It makes uh, getting from one field to another very quick, which I like. We can get started on this. Is he already finished? Oh, he's on the very last roll, so that's perfect. So we can finish spraying. Uh, we can just spray this whole field because he's just about finished. And then once it's in like 50% growth, we'll come back and spray it one more time. That way we get the most cotton out of this field that we can. And uh, like I said, if you'll have another harvester, please let me know. Because I would like one more, I believe. This is too big for just one harvester. I'm going to need at least one more, I think. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Go down in the comments. Give us some comments. What do you want to see on this farm? What do you want to see on our other farms? Is there any maps you want us to play? Anything and everything. Just give us a hello. I'll say hi. So make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe. Watch more of our videos. Until next time. Bye.